Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing great. This is Trey with TreyMixes.com and as always, if you've been enjoying these or if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you get told of all the videos as they come out. Should be about once a week. And also head over to TreyMixes.com where you can download your free book and private videos for improving your mixes with saturation. Not a whole lot of uh, private products about that. Uh, specifically, so go get it, check it out, and let me know if it helps you. Today, we're going to talk about something that maybe you haven't thought much about. Today, I want to give you some other options to consider when trying to make a part punchy or using certain plugins in ways that you maybe haven't thought about using them before. So today, we're going to talk about using transient designers on acoustic guitars. Um, this is not super typical. Uh, but you can use transient designers on all kinds of things, not just drums, which is where people typically use them. So today we're going to use them on an acoustic finger pick part to try to bring out the attack of these finger parts um, so that it isn't kind of dull throughout or give it a little bit more definition uh, when you're listening to this acoustic. Now, a lot of times you'll have people tell you to do this with compressors, and that's great. It's a perfectly normal and regular way to go about doing this. So I'm going to show you how we would do this with a compressor, and then we're going to get to the transient designers, and we give you a couple of different free options, um, or a free option, to go get the free option and try this yourself if your DAW doesn't come with a transient designer. So let's listen to the part first. So pretty good, really cleanly played. And so what we're going to look at is first we're going to use a compressor to try to do what I was talking about, bringing out uh, the picks a little bit more and really giving them a kind of a percussive hit so it sounds like someone's really playing this and really getting those notes out there. So I've already kind of set up this compressor. Let me turn it on. And we're going to start with a 4 to 1 ratio. And I'm going to pull the threshold down to where it starts really affecting it. And then we're going to add back the 6 dBs is where I'm about to do this. I've already done this before. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this with the attack knob is how you're going to get these things to pop out a little bit. Okay, so we're knocking off about five at the peak, so that's going to flatten it out a little bit, um, which is what compressors do. They're going to bring down the dynamic range. So here's where I'm going to start using the attack knob to try to show you what it does to the transients of this guitar. So I'm going to open it way up so it's not really doing anything because it's not going to have a chance to grab the transients of the guitar notes. And we're going to pull it in, and I'll show you what it sounds like squashed, and then I'm going to try to adjust it. So you can see on the really heavy ones that it kind of slams into those picks and dulls it and kind of evens out the sound wave really even. And we don't want that. We want, in this particular case, we want to bring up the transients a little bit. So I'm going to open this back up and adjust it to where I think I'm getting the most, letting the most transient through, but still letting the compressor bring up the small parts and making it a little punchier. Okay, so right about there. So I tried to show you one that was too much. Uh, you, we'll do it one more time where it's too close, uh, too closed up on the attack, too open on the attack, and then probably around 20 milliseconds is where it's working for this one. See, it's real sharp how it pulls it down there. Let's open it way up. The compressor is working here, even though it's wide open, but it's working just to try to level out the back ends. It's not giving us kind of enough to bring up the low, so I'm going to bring it back down to about 20. So there, we're still getting a lot of attack there, 
and it's really smoothing it out, but we're still getting the punch from the notes. So I'm going to turn off the compressor and show you how we can do something similar with a transient designer. It maybe isn't as dramatic, if that's not what you're looking for, as a compressor would be. So here's your new option. Here I've got Native Instruments Transient Master. This comes with Contact Complete from Native Instrument, and their complete setup gives you, this is in everything. And it's a really good one. So if you've already bought some of those plugins and some of those tools then in the complete setup, or some of their other bundles, you probably have this and maybe didn't even know it. This is a really good transient designer. So we're going to start with this one. I'm going to set this back to zero and kind of show you how we might use this. So I'm going to turn it on. It's not going to be doing anything. And when I roll up the attack knob, it's going to start bringing up the peaks of the transients. So it, it's pretty subtle, but I'll turn it off and on for you. It really helps those picks kind of jump out at you. So to help emphasize this a little bit, we're going to turn down the sustain just a little bit. And this way it'll duck down the parts that aren't transients just a smidge so as to really bring out some emphasis on this attack of these notes. Especially right there, you can really hear where those things pop out. So that's a great benefit of having a transient designer, uh, where they're usually used on snares and kicks to really give a good percussive whack from your drums um, you can use them all kinds of places to bring up notes so let's duck off this one and bring up a free one that you can go get and this is bittersweet and this is free and what we're going to do is the sweet side is the dulling of the transient and the bitter side is the enhancing of the transients so all we're going to do we're going to put it at even and i'm going to show you how this guy works by turning him to the sweet and then back to the bitter and you can hopefully hear the notes kind of jump out as we get closer to the bitter part. See how dull that is, it chops it down. Yes, that is, that's much better. The bitter side, about halfway up, we're really getting uh, more definition out of those notes, but we're not uh, smoothing it out so much that you're muddying it up, and we're not worried about our volume as much as we would be with a compressor keeping it set in the mix. And so these transient designers, even these free ones, are really useful if you want to add some definition. So one more time, I'll turn it on and off while we're listening. It's real subtle, but worth investing a little time into to see if it's something that would help you with some of these other instruments that you may be playing with. It's like some horn stabs or some string pizzicato parts. If you want them to really kind of jump out a little bit, compression can help. But if you're not getting what you're looking for out of the compressor, try a transient designer. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you found this useful. Hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you know when new videos come out. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Thank you for your time.